So a couple people have asked me how to uh, how I make my salad. Uh, they see me make it often. They've a lot of people have tested it, tasted it, and they have a fond liking to the taste. Uh, it's a traditional dish made by um, our cultural people, the Hmong people, and a lot of people have asked uh, how I make mine. So um, I will try and uh, show you guys how I make mine today. I have some of the ingredients already prepped up, so I'll tell you then. Okay. Okay. So here I have started. I took a whole iceberg lettuce. Uh, this, uh, if you if you make a whole iceberg lettuce, um, that will typically feed uh, your standard sized family, anywhere from four to six people. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what I did was uh, I broke the lettuce up. Uh, I always wash it. Always, always, always wash it. Uh, and then I usually use. Uh, a roll of paper or something to either soften, dampen, or I air dry it. Today was a beautiful day outside, so I uh, I put the I put a chair outside, uh, let it sit in uh, one of these strainers, and basically let it dry up. So that's what we have in here. Also took some mushrooms. I like mushrooms. Uh, did the same thing. Rinsed those. Also let those dry. So that's what I have in the pot first, or this bowl first. Uh, preparation is a big part. Um, these are the other main ingredients that I have. Um, you can also add carrots, which I don't have here. Uh, I usually shred carrots or strips of carrots. Uh, cucumber, whole cucumber. Uh, how I cut mines. Oops, that's not good. I'll rinse it. Okay. Um, I cut mines into medallions, real thinly cut. Um, I find if you if you cut them twice the size as thick, you know some people don't like it because it's too much crunch. So I cut them down thinner. Usually, people don't mind that. Um, tomatoes. I got romas. If you go to the grocery store, you pick out your tomatoes. Um, I actually, for the salad, uh, soft tomatoes are harder to cut. So I try and squeeze the tomatoes and look for the hardest ones. Uh, I also have cilantro here. Uh, I usually take half a bundle. And green onions. I usually take anywhere from four to five or six depending upon how much you want. Um, and on average, I have two whole uh, limes here. If you squeeze the limes at, while they're still full, uh, the softer ones usually have more juice. And I've cut them in half and then made s slices in them so that I could squeeze them later. Um, they'll be a whole lot easier. Um, depending upon how tart you want your salad to taste, uh, how sour, um, you may want to add in an extra half of a lime uh, depending upon your taste buds. So, all right. So we're gonna finish adding the rest of the ingredients onto the uh, salad. So I'm gonna take some of the um, cucumbers here and spread them throughout. And get them nice and even. Um, not too worried about all that. So just sporadically throughout, and we'll be tossing. The salad in a little bit too so I'm not too worried about how much um, is going to be affected. The nice thing about the tomatoes is it gives it a little more color and if any of you do a lot of cooking you understand that color is important in cooking because it's also healthier for you. Okay. And I'm accidentally grabbing some of the cilantro and I'm not in a rush to get the cilantro in I'll tell you why later when I put those in. Um, some of these eggs have been touched by the tomatoes so they look a little brownish and like they've got stuff on them but that's what we got. So the other thing I'm going to do now eggs is I'm going to cut these. I'm going to cut these into medallions or anything of that sort. I mean you're free to choose to cut however you'd like. Spread them throughout. Um, not using a cutting board, which is kind of a dangerous thing for those of you who feel comfortable. Don't do what I do. Do what you feel safe doing. Uh, I know my knives and how sharp they can and can't be. This one is just spreading this out. So I'm going to do this quick. All right. And so the reason why I said this earlier was um, one of the, there's a lot of 
great things about this dish that makes it taste so good. Um, it has a lot of aroma to it. The fragrance is stunning. Um, the onions and the cilantro make a huge part of that. And I usually put on almost any dish that includes all this stuff, um, my cilantro and onions at the last because it has the most aroma. Okay. All right. So the other thing I did is uh, add a little protein to your uh, your salad. Um, took a pound of uh, ground beef, ground chuck. Um, I try to get the leanest piece as possible because uh, if you don't uh, if you don't select something that's lean. Um, a lot of the uh, fat from the, a lot of the oils from the fat will actually s sit in your, your salad. So I always choose to go lean. And if you should happen, use something that's got a little more fat in it as you drain as much of the grease from um, what I've used. Um, as to what I season the meat with, all I use primarily is salt. I don't want to take away from the flavor of the other ingredients, which I will add in later, but for the most part, all you need is salt with your meat. And I use beef, however, you can use um, chicken breast. Um, I've seen people use bacon, I haven't used bacon. Um, chicken breast works fine. Um, you can have ground chicken, ground turkey, or you can just use actual chicken breast and cut it up too. So that's one of the other options. Um, you do want to have the meat put on at last because you want the meat to still be kind of hot. So um, that's what we got there so far. And then we'll go to the next. Ready? All right. So we're almost to the end here. This is the last bits and pieces. Tell you the truth, the longest part about everything about this dish so far is the preparation. So uh, we're getting close to the end here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the last bits and pieces. I'm going to put the lime next, okay? If you notice, if you do it in this order, it'll have a more peculiar taste. If you try and put the stuff in earlier, it'll kind of destroy some of the, the true flavor of the, of the dish. So um, you want the lime and lime at the end because you want everything to have the most of it. And I put the meat on top because when you bite into the dish, uh, your meat is probably what most people are going to seek and so, be what's going to be the most sought after. Uh, as they eat bits and pieces of the salad, so therefore um, I put the meat on top and it's going to get most of the seasoning And I'm even taking some of these strands here of this lime. This lime is not too juicy. I might have to pull another one out So get as much lime juice onto everything here as possible Okay, so I didn't feel that was enough lime to give it enough kick, so I cut two more, but what I'm going to do with this is, since this bowl is starting to get too full, I'm going to save these for halfway later when I get in the stir. Um, I'm going to start to add some of the ingredients, um, black pepper, I'm going to cake some of this on it. It looks like it's a lot, and it is, but... Um, I don't know how much you would equate to that, but I would say start off maybe with a tablespoon and just sprinkle that on. Um, salt, same ordeal. Um, just a light coating. This one probably is more of one, yeah, probably one tablespoon also to start. Um, you can always taste test it later. Uh, this is one of the main ingredients, fish sauce. I usually like this brand because it's not too powerful in the smell and the taste is pretty good. Um, to me, this is this and the lime is actually the main ingredient, as well as the last part, which is yet to come. All right, so we also have here roughly. Uh, you should use anywhere from eight to tw ten, twelve, depending upon how garlicky you like your your salad. I'm just gonna smash these so we can peel off the shells. I don't like shells in mine. Uh, some people don't mind it. 
it does give a little flavor. It has more smell to it, aroma, if you have the shells, but I just don't like the eating of the shells. So I'm going to peel mines. Alright, so what we're going to do, I got the garlics peeled for the most part. If you get a little bit of the original stuff on it, it's not going to hurt it. You're just going to take it and you're going to get this as small and fine as possible. Um, if you don't, no big deal. It's not going to hurt it. Take some of these. If you don't like the ends, you could toss those out. At the same time, while I'm doing this, I'm just letting you know, I just turned on the heater, set to high, the, um, set to high the skillet here, and I'll be adding in some oil, I'm going to use vegetable oil, add about uh, maybe a quarter cup quarter cup of oil let it sit there and let it get nice and hot you want to get it at its um, hottest temp all right so I got these finely chopped as as far as I can, it, it could be a little bigger than this. It doesn't matter. It's just your, your taste and your liking. What we're going to do with this is I'm going to take this garlic. Um, the oil here is started. As you can see, it's hot. So I'm going to drop this in. And this is going to be really quick from, from here on. So we're going to take, get my spatula ready. I'm going to drop this in. It's going to give a nice little smell to it. Stir this puppy up. Turn my fan on so hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'm going to get this till it's nice and gold. The second it gets nice and gold. Slowly pour this over. You hear that snap, crackle, pop. That is your salad dressing. The oil. You got a little garlic on there too. So, okay. Um, give it a little more flavor. Um, I'm gonna add in some extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to pour about another uh, quarter cup of uh, oil into the mix here. The first one was hot. It kind of kills some of the, uh, softens up, I should say. I shouldn't say kill. Well, it does, too. The heat does. Uh, softens up some of the, the items here. Uh, so I'm going to pour that in. Everything else has been added to this. The next step is stirring. So, all right, so I said uh, we get to the point where we're going to start stirring this with, well, tossing, not stirring. Um, you're just going to gently lift this up. Uh, for those of you who like a more formed salad, meaning you'd still like your pieces more intact, uh, I suggest doing a salad toss. Otherwise, uh, traditionally, uh, in the original form, old world, third world countries, we didn't have utensils and they didn't really care, they always were quicker to get their food cooked. They would actually take their bare hands and just mush it, mush it together or, or, or stir it with their hands. If you got the um, Ziploc bags where you could do that, oh this is starting to smell good. Um, you can wear that and just toss it that way, otherwise this is basically the, 
the very last step of your your uh, salad here. I'm trying to be careful. Um, highly recommend you get yourself a nice big bowl. I should have uh, gotten a wider bowl so that tossing would be easier. And then at this point, I'm going to stop, give this some more lime so it's a little more tart. That first lime I had didn't have as much juice, so I'm going to try and get as much out from this one as I can. May even add a little more fish sauce because most of the ingredients were at the top, only on that meat, so.